My name is Anita Stewart. This is my Canada. The food, the recipes, the stories. These tales, vignettes, and recipes are from the culinary front lines of our nation. They define the real Canadian cuisine. This book is about the pure, sensual pleasure of tasting the richness of Canada on every level from the physical to the intellectual. It's a dramatic demonstration of how Canada, from coast to coast to coast, is bursting into bloom with one of the most exciting food cultures on earth. Food has always been here. I call it the original palate. In the mists of time, the First Nations traded it, paddling these great canoes as far south as California. The land and the sea were so rich. Stinging nettles found on most ancient campsites, salal berries dried into cakes or eaten fresh, and salmon. Across Turtle Island, the First Nations developed other foodways. A feast of three sisters, corn, beans, and squash, simmered into soup, in a kettle like the one my grandmother used to make maple syrup in, or on the trap lines of northern Quebec near Mistassini. Inside the tent where beaver are hung on ropes and Canada geese are impaled on branches to roast beside a smoky fire. As non-natives arrived, they found a land already rich in tradition. Then they began to build their own, adapting the ingredients of the land and bringing others with them. The wheat they planted for flour was to make pastry. They used lard from their own pigs for winter-warming Acadian meat pies laden with game. Or it was embellished with maple to make a syrupy pudding chamour. They grew oats for oat cakes that they'd smear with good Jersey butter. They harvested the sea and smoked the herring they netted in the most traditional fashion, with fish strung on rafters over a fire smoldering on the floor of the barn. They built bread ovens all along the St. Lawrence. The Mennonites brought solid husbandry and a delicious food tradition. Sweets and sours are preserved from enormous gardens. Cabbages are wrapped in newspapers and onions are strung from the rafters. Apples come from the orchard to be dried into schnitz for pies and desserts. Dairy herds give milk for homemade butter. The land flourished. Our nation grew, as did our multicolored food culture. We can taste the world, but we do it on our own terms and with our own ingredients, and we revel in them. Perfectly perfumed Niagara white peaches with names like Blushing Star, a flattened pig in Vancouver's Chinatown, a bowl of edible flowers. There are new names in the potato fields, Golden Blush, Bijou Rouge, Ruby Gold, Dulse is gathered on the slippery intertidal boulders at the foot of a cliff where the eagles nest. Oysters are tonged in shallow Prince Edward Island estuaries, and rainbow trout are landed on a farm near Alma, Ontario. Hazelnuts in a multitude of varieties are gathered in B.C.'s Okanagan and Fraser Valleys. My Canada is about people. Passionate oysterman Johnny Flynn, who in his spare time lands lobsters on PEI's north coast. Seaweed Lady Diane Bernard from Souk, B.C., who ships her fresh harvest across the continent. Chef, baker, guru James McGuire, who brought artisan bread to Montreal and then to Canada. My Canada is about food, traditions that have come from every corner on earth but use our own, all Canadian, homegrown ingredients. Lamb-laden Yukon gold potato topped shepherd's pie. Prairie bread and harvested lentils made into a perfect salad and blessed with Vancouver Island's balsamic, an oozing Aussie pavlova smothered with cream and a mountain of fresh summer berries. Gato basque filled with the best apples on earth grown here. This is Canadian cuisine. This is our heritage. Across this land, we are beginning to tell success stories, our own We have been blessed with clean air and sparkling waters along with research, academic, and agricultural communities that can compete with any on earth. Canadian cuisine is about stripping off our modesty and honoring this reality and each other. It's about celebrating our magnificent differences, our roots, our ethnicity, our future. So welcome to My Canada, the food, the recipes, the stories, My Canada, strong, proud, and absolutely delicious.